Thank you very, very much, Miss De Castro. And thank you for presiding over tonight's meeting. Equally, I want to recognize the president of the St. Kitts Association in Clovel Stevens. Allow me to introduce the other members of my team who are here with us in the BVI. You heard from Duncan Watley, who is in charge of the People's Empowerment Department, which has special responsibility for looking after our people abroad and ensuring that when they return home to take up residence again, they are facilitated with concessions, duty-free, etc., and vehicles, furniture, among other things. We have Myrtilla Williams, who also work in that department. Myrtilla, could you stand? Could you give her a hand of welcome? And with me also is the press secretary in Mrs. Miss Valencia Grant. Could you also give her a hand of welcome? It is a special delight to be here again and to come back to BVI that has been so kind and so wonderful to Team Unity. Last time I was here speaking to an audience such as this one, we were in a different building. And I promise that when we form the government that you are going to see us again. So I'm happy at long last I have been able to fulfill that promise. And I want to thank all of you, so many of you, who have chosen to come out this evening. So give yourselves a round of applause. I believe that this certainly is an indication that you want the best for your country, that you continue to be interested in what is happening at home, and you have come to hear for yourself, to find out for yourself, to ask the appropriate questions so that you can get the assurance that your beautiful country of St. Kitts and Nevis is moving ahead in a successful way. 